Okay guys, so go to getbootstrap.com. Uh, what I'm actually gonna do first is show you how to pretty much use any template um, to implement into your project. Now, it doesn't really matter if it's Bootstrap or not, uh, but the method I'm showing you right now will show you how to use virtually any templates, um, HTML and CSS, and even their JavaScript. So go ahead and click Getting Started. Go to Examples, and let's click on this, this one right here with the Jumbotron. Okay, so this could be virtually any template out there, um, and it's really not that difficult to use what's already there. What you're gonna do is go to View, Developer, and then View Source. So this is all the stuff that's rendered already on the site. Now it has its CSS here in two spots, and then it has a few other things. So let's go ahead and hit con Command A or Control A, depending on what computer you're in. Go ahead and copy it, Control C or Command C. Open up Komodo Edit. Into your templates, make a new file. We're gonna call it base.html. Let's open that up, paste that in here, all right, and then save it. And then back into signup.html, we're going to change all this stuff and do extends base.html. So basically it's saying use most of base.html, get rid of this bottom part. All you want are these two things here, the h1 tag and the form tag. And then we will do a block called content of course this could be named anything it does not have to be named content um, but content is a kind of a typical practice within the Django community for the main content area you'll see what I mean once we actually implement it but just look at that for now make sure your signup.html file looks like this okay so now back into base we need to actually put in that signup information. So underneath this HR tag here, I see this text. You know, I don't know what any of this is, so I'm gonna just scroll down. Underneath this, this HR tag, I'm gonna do block content. Now, if you notice, this is the exact same as the other one. So we'll do end, end block. Um, I want to at least make it similar to these, so why don't I just copy this one right here, paste it, save that. I'm actually gonna put the block content in there, so let's get rid of what's already in here. Make sure that div tag is still there, and paste it. So block content is now within some div tag of some class, I don't know what it, what it is yet. Of course, I do know what it is, but for our case, we don't know what it is yet. So save that. Now let's go back into Chrome, into our project. Now this should change, change a little bit. We don't know how it's gonna change, but it's gonna change. So if we do a refresh, it did change. It moved, uh, toggle navigate. It has all this stuff now in it, and that should make sense. I mean, if you look at here, all of this file has a lot of stuff in it, and sign up extends this file. So it's gonna do that. Um, if you're familiar with HTML and CSS, you'll know that it's missing its styles, also known as CSS. So we need to grab that stuff. A uh, uh, fast way to do it is by looking in here. Now, here's Bootstrap Core CSS. If we click on this, it will show up on the Bootstrap website, but if we go to ours and do inspect element, and well, actually, instead of inspect element, we'll go to view, developer, and then source. If we go there and click on it, it's gonna say page not found. Ah, that's because of this right here. We actually need it to be in our static files because it's a static file and it's still gonna pull up page not found, so we need to do some stuff. Let's go back into the live version. So again, the source here, click on that. It's gonna pull up the CSS. So we'll do file file, save page as. Now navigate to your Skillshare project on your desktop, or at least that's where I have it. Uh, you should have a folder in here called static. So if you don't have that folder, make sure you make it. And then we're gonna do a new file here, or a new folder, excuse me, called CSS. 
and we're gonna save that okay and then one more CSS we see right here let's grab that and do file save as jumbotron okay cool so now that we've done the two CSS let's go back into our base file where our CSS should be see there it is there's that same code that we saw over here right that's where that is and we want to change this to you guessed it static and then jumbotron we want to do the same thing we want to add that stuff all right cool so if we save it and do a refresh ah all of our stuff is coming through and it's looking kind of nice um, let's do one more thing. We want to do a python manage.py collect static. We want to make sure that we're adding in the new CSS and that's what we do with collect static. Um, if those of you should see the static coming through, if you didn't, it's because we did not do a collect static. We refresh. Now we can see that everything's... Now we can see that everything's coming through and we have our CSS working quite nicely. And if I do this again and hit submit, uh, it looks like it didn't do anything. So let's go to admin, go to signups. There should be two of mine and now there is two of mine. That is the one that was just recently added. If you don't believe me, you can go back and change this to whatever.com hit submit, go back into the admin, and whatever.com is working. Cool. Not quite done yet, because um, if you remember, if we do a refresh on our uh, on this in here, we have a couple things. We have a fav icon that's not coming through. We'll worry about that later. Um, that is this little icon up here. The reason you see it on mine is because uh, mine has our another site's fav icon pulling through based off of my cache. So if I emptied that, it would go away. Um, now we see this one. This is not showing up very well. So let's actually go look at it on the source code. We're going to copy this. Now the reason I know to just copy that last part is it's going back two directories. So this is one directory, that's two directories. And another way you would know this is, is this one has a similar pattern up here. And when we click on it, it takes away those two directories. All right, so let's copy that. Let's go in here, take away those directories, press enter. This is a file warning. So let's just save this. Um, and in our static, we're gonna make a new folder, JS for JavaScript. And let's save it in there. Let's see what else, what other JavaScript we need. Let's scroll down to the bottom. Uh, we have jQuery JavaScript and Bootstrap. I'm going to get a local file of jQuery's JavaScript. So let's go ahead and click on that. And then go to File, Save Page as JavaScript. We're going to keep it, look at, look at the name of it. All right, let's save that. We can close that file. And now we want the Bootstrap one. And then we'll do it again, file, save, page as. Save that, cool. And then we go back into Komodo Edit, scroll all the way down. And we're gonna change this, because we have this file. If we look in here, static JavaScript, we have that file right there. So we need to change this to static.js slash. Can copy that paste it there. Oh, and we did it to one up here as well. And that was this one. Okay. So we can leave these two um, as that. It's using a content delivery network. Um, when you see CDN anywhere, that usually means it's a content delivery network, um, which uh, it just makes it a little bit easier to have things done. That's all. Just kind of remember that it's it's stored on another server. So if they access that file on any website, it will come up on yours as well. So it's kind of speeds things up. 
Okay, so we save that and then we can do a, a refresh back into our home page here. And nothing really changed a whole lot and that's because we don't have any JavaScript pulling up in this quite yet. Um, but if we do refresh on our view source and scroll down to our JavaScript, we should see it uh, in both places. Ooh, whoop, I made a mistake. I put two JavaScript, so let's scroll back down. Let's get rid of one of them, save that, um, and refresh. There we go. So now this is definitely not the most efficient way to add Bootstrap to our project, but it is the most efficient way to add any template to our project. Now, using Bootstrap, we are gonna learn a lot more about how Bootstrap specifically works, but in case you wanted to, you know, kind of use a different project, uh, a different template or something like that, this is essentially what you would do. Um, and then we'll have to kind of figure out how your CSS works within that template, um, which I'm not really gonna cover. I'm gonna cover it specifically for Bootstrap so we can edit it and make it look the way we want to. So there's a lot of things covered in this. If you have any questions, feel free to email me um, or, or ask questions in the forum. Um, it's pretty straightforward. I know I went kind of fast. The purpose is so you can stop it, rewatch it, do any of that stuff all over again. Um, other than that, in the next one, we are gonna clean this up just a little bit so it looks more like our project. Um, if you want to kind of experiment on your own, I recommend that you do so. Come in here and just look for text uh, that's that looks like you can change it. And Komodo Edit makes it really nice and puts all that stuff as black. The black stuff you can change, and it's easy to change. Gray stuff is comments, blue is HTML stuff. This like purplish reddish color is also HTML stuff. So just kind of play around. See if you can make some changes to it right now before I even show you how to do that. So um, otherwise, we will see you in the next one.